patience has never been, or probably never will be, one of my strongest strong suits. I'm going to tell you that right now. Especially when I'm in a store such as a grocery store, Walmart, big box store, and there are a ton of people. That's what I'm going to talk about today, and I'm going to give you some advice and a cure that you will not believe that works every time for these kind of people I am about to explain to you. Now let's go back in history a little bit to what I think triggered my, my impatience around people. Uh, for some reason, it has stuck, and it always will be with me. 1976, it was a cold, cold rainy day around the beginning of March. And my mother was a huge Elvis fan. And so my father, and he was coming to Tulsa, and so my father has the idea, we're going to go wait in line for said Elvis tickets. So we get there about probably 4.35 in the morning. The line is already a mile long, and it's raining and drizzling. It's the miserable kind of rain where it's cold. You can't be without a coat. And it's raining, making it even worse. And we waited in that line for hours. And hours and hours and hours and hours. And I couldn't even... It, I was 10 years old. But that memory will never get fuzzy. And to this day, that is why I, I do not go to any events where you have to wait in line. Uh, I, I just... I am not waiting in line to pay nobody nothing. They better get in line to get my money. Because I'm not waiting in line. But my biggest pet peeve today is going into the grocery store. And you want you you know what you want. It's in your mind. Mm-hmm. You're going for the Frito Lay scoops. Because you're making some chili dip later on. When you want those chips to scoop, you know, it's already made into a spoon. You just shovel them in your mouth. Pull another one out. But you already know that's what you want. You know where it is. You know your grocery store. You can walk right to it. Grab you a bag of scoops and you're out the door. No problem. Right? Wrong. Not here. We got a breed here like I've never seen. Never. These people here have to bring their entire family. And I'm not talking mom, dad, two little kids. I'm not talking that. I'm talking six adults. They're all in one group. One of them's pushing the cart. And I went on the worst day of the month. Yep, food stamp day. When the food stamps come out. I'm in Aldi's. I know what I want. See, I, I have a system. I When I go in there, I know where everything is. And I go in the particular order that I want. Well, this particular day... I was late. I'm usually in all these right when they open. Never have no problems. But I was there more towards noon this time. And it was packed. Um, I already know what I want. So if I see one section's busy. And you should see me driving a go uh, grocery cart, man. When I come around the corner, I fishtail. And I'm off to where I'm going. So I figure I'll bypass the meat because there's 
one of them said families there. They got the grandma also. I mean, it's four generations. Kids running around screaming. The works. Got the baby seat in the cart. No problems. I will go get my eggs. That's, that's a few minutes. That's about a minute process. Okay, because I, you know, you got to open them up and make sure ain't none of them cracked. Here lately, they've been getting me. They've been cracked on it. You ever go to get an egg out and then grab it and it won't pop out? It's because it's broke on the bottom. And then you get the egg all over your fingers. But you can't let that ruin your day. That was the situation. The meat and, and all these meat section where I go for steaks and, bur and beef is a little section. So one, one grocery cart hogs it all up. So I see them, they're sitting there, and they're looking. Go and I get my eggs, okay? I can keep an eye on this whole situation from the egg department. I can see the meat section. It's at the end. I'm over here. I'm getting my eggs. I'm taking my time. Making sure not. I'm even pulling a few out. Mm-hmm. The eggs are good. They're still there. They're still there. Okay, I need pork rinds. That's way over on the other side of the store. So instead of going the short way, I go the long way. I find the pork rinds. I squeeze the bags to make sure they still got a little air in there. Because pork rinds will go stale quickly. Find the said pork rinds. Put them in my cart. And now we're at the point where there's only one thing left to get, and that's meat. And they are hogging up the entire space in front of the fish, in front of the steaks, in front of the beef. And i got to get them out of there, man. So I pull my cart up, and they're still there. They're still... I'm getting angry. Sip of coffee, sip of coffee. They're still there. They're still there. So I just park the cart and stand there. Peepers forward. Most people would get, would see me and go, oh, oh, come on guys, let's get what we got to go. This guy needs to get some, get, get him some fine, fine steaks. Nope. What do they do? The cart is parked right in front of where I need to go. About two or three of them disperse. The leader, a large female, approximately age 30, seems to be the leader of the group. She shouts to the older one. Okay, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to imitate them the best I can. This is how it went down. She shouts to the other one. Hey! You get us, go get some of that margarine over there. See if I got country crock or something like it. Older one gets over there. They don't got country crock, but they got this such for $1.12 for, for 20 pounds. Yeah, get that. While the other one is off searching for something else. But the cart remains. It remains. It ain't moving. I'm not the only one in line. I'm not the only one that wants meat. There is a company out there that hire these people to go in to get you to buy more food because you go wandering off and load your cart with more stuff. Well, with what I eat for to live now i only get so many things get the hell out of my way they're not moving but i did get them to move and it's a little thing i carry with me every time i go into a grocery store especially the local one which i don't really shop at anymore but it works guaranteed within 30 seconds they will depart 
they will go somewhere else and it'll usually be at the furthest away from you end of the store it does it works that good and i'm going to show you how to do it and it's going to cost you a little bit not for me i'm not asking for your money you'll have to get online and order it but i promise you when i show you it works another annoying one we'll get into that in a minute is the cell phone aisle blocker upper they're in every store every day every given hour and those are the people who suddenly stop their cart right in the middle of the aisle okay doesn't matter they don't have the the sense to pull off to the side of the aisle like you would on a road okay because these fault these phone calls or texts are so important got to stop right then and listen and answer they do the same thing they as soon as that phone rings and they hit answer they are a, they are in a whole different world they are no longer they are subconsciously transported out of the grocery store i don't know where they go but they have no awareness that you are there none it's like you are a ghost you are invisible. They don't see you. They don't have to move their cart out of the way. So what I do, I do, I, I fishtail the thing in a, in a 360, and I make it loud. Them wheels are screeching. And I go back to the other way and come in this way. The aisle is still blocked, and it never fails. The garlic powder that I want, that I seek, it's right there, right where they're standing right there I got a cure for that too I do and then here locally I'm giving you a few scenarios of what goes on in these grocery stores when you live in a small town when you go to the grocery store guess what you know everybody in there and then you get the gossipers yep they're in the meat section they're in the pork grind section. They're in the egg section. And their carts are like this. Like they're driving down the road. And they see each other. Hey, Marl! They stop. They got to sit there and have a 15-minute conversation about beef prices. Okay? And they are curing America's problems in that conversation. Every single one we have. They're electing presidents. They're, oh, they're, they're curing it all. But I'm not getting my chips. Which I don't eat chips. I'm using them as an example. You understand, right? They're not moving. Because the story, it don't, it don't end. It never ends. It will not spill into the parking lot. By the time they are in the parking lot, that story's a memory. And I got a way to get rid of them, too. And I am not kidding. You're like... Dog man, what do you do? I can't wait to hear what you do. Well, I will put it this way. I will do what I do, and within 30 seconds, they are running for their lives. You know what I do? It just comes in this little bitty bottle right here. <laughs> and it's called Liquid Ass. Fart prank. I'm going to tell you what. A couple squirts of this. You won't need. This is probably the best diet plan in the world. Because you get a couple squirts of this up in your nostrils. You ain't going to forget it. And it lingers. So what I do. If they're not going to move. I'll fishtail my cart again. Do the 360. And then I come breezing by the other way. With this in my hand and just keep going I don't care if they know I did it I don't care if they think I farted on them I don't care but it's going to work and sure enough it does and you know what after you do that and they clear out you got all the time in the world in that store nobody nobody's ever getting in your way again as long as you're in this store 
I'm telling you guys, it works. These are drastic times, and they call for drastic measure, measures. People are rude these days. There are no more friendly people in the grocery stores. They go in there. I'm friendly. But there's always more unfriendlies, entitlement people, those kind. I'm here to shop, and you will give me the right away. You know I will. And you will breathe horribly. Woo! Get on the internet and watch some videos where they spray this stuff and you tell me it don't stink. That stays in my truck. And it goes in the grocery stores with me every single time. So now you know one of my secrets. So if you plan to go to the grocery store the same day as me, you better have a list, and you better know what you're getting, and get it now. And that's all I got to say about that. Happy trails.